How you guys doing Eric here? Today is Tuesday, December 4th, 2017. Pretty nice day up here in Gilbert County. It was chillier. Feels a little more like December today. I should be working right now, man. It's for some fucking reason. I don't know, maybe the guy just doesn't want to work in this kind of weather, but man, it's fucking, it's fucking killing me, man. I'm supposed to be working all week. For some reason, we're not working today, but yeah, it just, it just reinforces the fact that I got to find a more permanent, you know, sustainable, as they like to say, employment situation that's going to keep me going for the, like, into my retirement, you know? And it's what I've been doing, man. It's just, I'm getting too old for it. But, so yeah, that kind of brings you to me to my topic for the day, you know? I, I'm trying to quit smoking weed and it's, uh, it's fucking tough, man. It's, you know, yesterday I just took like one hit and I, I ate a little bit of edible syrup just to pacify myself for the day, but yeah, it pisses me off that I got, that I'm forced to do that just to get a fucking job, you know? Living here in a, a state with quasi-legal cannabis, it's fucking tough, man, to quit. Something that I, you know, I know is not fucking bad for me and it doesn't affect anything, you know? It's just, it's really stupid that I'm forced to do this because I want to get a fucking job. You know, like where I live, there's, there's some casinos. It's like 10 or 12 miles away. And, you know, I'm pretty sure as long as I can pass a piss test, I can get a job there, you know, like, because they got hotels and stuff. I could probably get a halfway decent job there, you know, as a, as a maintenance guy or, you know, like just a guy fixing the hotel rooms and shit, handyman or whatever. So thinking about doing that, man, as much as I fucking hate the casinos, man, as much as I really hate what they stand for, man, you know, they're, they're uptight, you know, their job is stealing money, you know, legally. So of course they're uptight and, you know, they're just another fucking business in the fucking mainstream system, right? They're fucking, they all work together in lockstep, man, with the pharmaceutical companies, the fucking drug and, you know, alcohol, tobacco companies, any, all of them that are in the same fucking system. So they all support the fucking anti-cannabis fucking legislation where, you know, even though we're living in a state where it's fucking legal, quasi-legal, like I say, you still can't get a job, man. They, they don't, they, they, they can't hire you if you can't pass their fucking piss test. And it's fucking stupid. You know, and there's other reasons why I need to f probably should, it, it would be in my best interest to stop. That's what I'm saying, you know. I'm not saying I'm going to be able to do it, man, but uh, it really sucks, man. It's really a shitty position to be in right now. Also because, you know, like I said before, I got two DUIs and the legal limit to drive is so fucking stupid. Even though I have, I barely smoked anything yesterday, I would still be, if I got pulled over and the cop said, you, you know, you look like you're stoned to me, it could ruin my life. It forced me to go downtown, down into their fucking station and force me to take a blood test or, you know, and if I don't do that, then I, I automatically lose my license. They're still gonna try to fucking prosecute me for a DUI. And they just don't give two fucking squirts of piss, man, about ruining someone's life. That's their job, man. It's a whole fucking industry of scumbags from the fucking sheriffs to the police, the fucking court system judges, DAs, fucking probation officers, man. They're all part of the same fucking evil gang that fucking is their job to keep their for-profit prisons full. And they don't give a shit. It's all victimless crimes, man. So that's another reason. So yeah, I'm kind of in a shitty mood today because of all that. And I'm not working today and I fucking, you know, I'd like to find a way to beat the system, man. Without, you know, get a, get a decent job and not have to quit smoking weed. But, you know, ever since they legalized it here in Colorado, you know, supposedly legalized it, but they really, it's really not legal. You know, it's still federally illegal and you can't get a job if you smoke and, they still random piss test people and you know if, if you get if they pull you over and say you look high even if you haven't smoked in a week 
they can force you to take a blood test and fucking ruin your life over a DUI. So, yeah, it's really, really an evil fucking racket they got going on here in Colorado, man. It's really, really fucking scummy. The whole industry based on putting innocent people in a cage and forcing them into labor. You know, that's the, that's the new fucking American, you know, the new American fucking industry. This fucking industry model is all about prison labor now. It's really sickening, man. So we can compete with China with prison labor, man. It's, that's the new American fucking industry model. And it's really sickening, disgusting, but that's what they want. They want us all in a fucking cage working for them for cigarettes, basically. Yeah, man, it's a really, really sad situation that we're living in here, man. You know, because, you know, I could be fucking as high as you could possibly get on cannabis. And it wouldn't affect my driving even one little bit, man. You know, because I've done it many times, man. Back in the day when it wasn't such a big deal. You could get back, you know, 10, 20 years ago, you could get pulled over by a cop. And they wouldn't even ask you if you'd been smoking weed. They would just ask you if you'd been drinking. And it wasn't the stigma that it is now because it's legal. You know, and, they, and they've come out with all new tests for roadside testing and and even more new ones that they're experimenting with that are, you know, they can just fucking swab your mouth and tell whether you've had anything to smoke in the last month. So, yeah, it's, it's really horrible, man. That, you know, we're forced to you know, what we can put in our bodies, you know, is, is their fucking business. You know, they're so interested in our blood. They're so, you know, into our personal lives, into our urine. They fucking, and if they find what they're looking at, you can't work for, you can't have a job just because, you know, you choose to medicate yourself your own way. Even though, you know, you could have all the tender, loving alcohol in your system as long as you're not driving. You can fucking have all the pharmaceutical drugs you want as long as you got a prescription for it. Even if you, but even if you have a prescription for cannabis, they don't care. So you see, they're all working together, man. The governments, the pharmaceutical companies, drug and alcohol, alcohol and tobacco, they're all working together to fucking keep people from smoking weed. You know? Yeah, you can smoke weed all you want in Colorado, but not if you want to have a decent job. Not if you want to drive a car. So, uh, it's really, really depressing, man. That that's just the way it is. You know, I wonder if the shitbag sheriffs have to take a piss test to keep their job. You know, I got a pretty strong feeling that they don't. And also the fucking, the judge, I wonder if he has to take a piss test to keep his job. I have a feeling he probably don't, you know? I wonder how many of these sheriffs are driving around fucking under the influence. But no one ever fucking questions them, pulls them over and asks them, hey, say, you look like you, you look stoned to me. That ain't gonna happen, man. But it's a double fucking standard we're living under, man. Obviously. You know, it cracks me up with these cop blockers who turn the questions right back around on the cops, man. That always fucking cracks me up. I'll be like, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, have you have you had, had anything to drink tonight? Have you had anything to drink tonight? Uh, are, you under the, are you under the influence of anything? What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Oh, man, it's hilarious, and it fucking pisses the cops off, man. They're like, well, I'm not the one. I'm the one asking the questions here. But you know what? You're allowed to ask them questions too, man. The only difference is they're allowed to lie to you. And if you get caught lying to them, it's a fucking felony. God, I hate this fucking country. This so-called fucking country. You know, this fucking country, they say, oh, they, they, they got us so convinced of our freedoms. They're always talking about our freedoms, our freedom. There's never been a more enslaved fucking population of people in the history of humanity. And they're all so convinced that they're fucking free. It's amazing to me, man. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, they want to make us believe that having a little bit of fucking cannabis in your blood 
makes you dangerous on the road, man. It's fucking bullshit. You know, I, I've been doing it all my life, man. Ever since I was a kid, I was fucking smoking weed and driving a car. You know what? I've never been in a fucking accident my whole fucking life. I used to drink and drive all the time. I've never been in a fucking accident. You know, it's fucking shit. Victimless crimes, man. Because, you know, it's for, our, it's for public safety. It's all, you know, all our rights are being taken away because of public safety. Because of 9-11. You know, because of all the, the Las Vegas shooting. Because of all that fucking bullshit that they keep perpetrating on us. And that's what they're using to take our fucking rights away from us, man. God, such shit, man. It's all, it's, it's collectivism, man. We're just because this something happened over here, there was one person. Now we all have to fucking suffer because of it. It's fucking shitty, man. Sick of this fucking place. Yeah, I like these fucking cops, man. They always pretend like our safety is their responsibility, you know? I'm so sick of that fucking shit, man. I watch police videos all the time. They're always telling people, um, sir, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you not to stand there for your own safety. And I'm like, what do you mean? You're, you know, the Supreme Court says my safety is not your responsibility. But they always pretend like they're responsible for everybody's safety. And if, you know, and they're like, they're like fucking superheroes walking around telling people not to stand there for their own safety, even though they're not even in the street. Well, you're close to the street, you could get hit by a car. I'm gonna have to ask you to move back. Well, now it's becoming an officer safety issue, so I'm gonna have to ask you to move. Or they'll be like, you know, and then if you don't move, like they say, well, now I'm just gonna have to beat the shit out of you for your own safety. <laughs> That's what's come down to, man. They will beat the shit out of you and kill you for your own safety. A brave, brave law enforcement. You know, our first responders, they're, so, they're doing such a wonderful job. They did such a wonderful job in the, in the Las Vegas shooting. And what the fuck does law enforcement do that's so great, man? Arrest people for fucking non-violent crimes and throw them in a cage. Fucking, they're never there to protect you when, when someone's murdering your family. They always show up afterwards and fucking take you to jail. Yeah, yeah. in my opinion, we don't fucking need the police, man. We could, live, we could totally live without them, but... Most Americans are fucking so brainwashed. Oh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll be destroyed overnight if we didn't have the police to protect us. They don't have an obligation to protect us. It's fucking bullshit.